everybody to this anime game Otaku 95. Last episode, I went on the main mission to go find the doctor so they could help Constantine with the illness. And well, I managed to find a native healer, so he's gonna stay and go help Constantine and. He gave me the shield which it will help me complete the other side, I mean main mission that I couldn't do several episodes early and after that I completed another peel side mission which I found out that this sorte has at least one family member living which is Hodea and and now I'm about to go complete another side mission so I'm gonna go ask the three slayers of something so what's gonna happen next let's go play okay I'm gonna go ask them the questions your excellency I am so pleased to see you again the pleasure is shared captain good day Jonas what can I do for you Hmm, ask them about... I'd like you to tell me anything you can about a member of your crew. Alba. She joined our party recently. But I like her already. She works hard and is full of courage. You know, she is one of those rare knots that joined of her own volition. And she did everything she could to become one of our own. Until we arrived here, she suddenly became distraught and frightened. It brought back memories. Do you know where I could find her? I'd like to ask her some questions. No. I've not seen her for a while. Maybe at the tavern? She was playing cards there from time to time. Anything else, Your Excellency? Hey, happy to see you again. How have things been going for you since you're crossing? Good, thank you. Even if I've quite a list of errands to check on. Then straight to it. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a nought. A young woman going by the name of Alba. I know her. She joined our crew at the same time as our new captain. Did you try the tavern? Don't give me that look there. I've kept from the bottle since that story with Jonas, you know that. No matter. When we're at dark, there's nothing much else to do. It might be that little Alba went there to take a look. Anything else? Captain, delighted to see you again. We've missed you. Your Excellency, it's a pleasure. What can I do for you? We have a few questions to ask you, Flavio. I'm all yours, Captain. Can you tell me anything about Alba? Oh, I don't know her very well. She only joined our crew recently. But she pulls her away. You can't hold that against her. You might say she shows a little too much zeal, even, at times. That being said, ever since we got here, I found her a little... distraught. And you could even say nervous. Would you know where I could find her? No. I wouldn't. Where's she Mr. Roll Call? Well, I hope she didn't do something stupid. These committed volunteers, we never know if we can trust them. Anything else? Huh. I guess I should check on that tavern now. Gentlemen, please calm down. Who are you to give us orders? That's true. You want to see our tough? Come on. You don't know who you're messing with. You're wasting your time talking to them. The alcohol will make them forget about it tomorrow. Hmm, let's see. Don't insist. You're right. It's a waste of time. Okay, I guess I should investigate. What can I pull for you? Hmm. I'm looking for a young nought. She goes by the name of Alba and sails on Captain Rubin's ship. I wouldn't know who that is. Why don't you go and ask that fellow over there? He often shares a bottle with the sailors. He might remember your nought. Anything else? Nothing, thanks. I'm not thirsty just yet. 
Okay, now who do I talk to? Hey, look at that! <laughs> the upper crust coming to slum it at the tavern. How may I help you? We're looking for a young Nort. She's part of Captain Rubin's crew. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. A girl who loses her pay with style. <laughs> well, I don't know where she is. She looked sad last time I saw her. Didn't have her head in the game. Have you ever heard her talk about secrets or documents you'd like to exchange? Are you asking me if she's a spy? <laughs> no idea. She told me nothing. But if that's why you're looking for her, I may have seen things that might interest you. I'm often mistaken for a drunkard, so they pay no attention to me. But I see everything. Tell me what you saw. I'd like to tell you all that, but... <coughs> my throat's a little dry, my friend. Do you want to know anything else? That'll be all, soldier. Thank you. Can I pour for you? Let's see, maybe I could buy a bottle. Give me a bottle of your best drink. There you go. But be careful, she's got a strong bite. Oh, here you are again. More questions? That'll be all. Awesome. Ah, come on. Oh, here you are. Tell me what you saw. This should quench your thirst. So, what did you see? Well, returning late at night, I spotted a guy I'd seen before at the tavern. He often spent time with the Nort, and he was in the street, fiddling with a stone, looking suspicious. So, I took a closer look when he left. I thought he'd stashed money or something. But no, there was a box under the stone, but there was no gold inside, just papers. They were messages, and from the look of the guy, they couldn't be love letters. <laughs> now, I don't know how to read, so I couldn't understand what it was about, but maybe those were your secrets? Where is this hiding place? Cross the bridge at the exit of the town. On the left, look for the stone. The box is underneath. Thank you, soldier. My pleasure, friend. Do you want to know anything else? Okay, so the mystery box should be around here somewhere. This stone must be the one the soldier told us about. Look, it hides a box. It's a dead drop. It's suspicious, but it doesn't reveal any secrets or who uses it. Well then, we'll have to catch whoever uses it red-handed. These bushes will shield us from prying eyes. We can wait for your spies there. Okay, now I need to go look for a good hiding spot. Ah, come on, how do I get up there? There you Perfect. go. We have a great view of the box from here. Should we wait here? I don't believe it. The same drunkards. They'll ruin everything. Yeah, I should have get rid of those guys only, so maybe I could get rid of them. What are you doing here, gentlemen? Am I dreaming? Or are those the same guys from before? No, you're right. It's those guys who came to pick a fight at the tavern. Could you go fight somewhere else? And why would we do that? The road is for everyone. It's true. We fight where we want. Uh, what should I do? I think I should imitate them. Listen, a patrol is coming. You better run. They're not fond of rowdy drunkards. <laughs> nah, come on. And 
I killed him one. We should go back and hide quickly. And I just killed him in one hit. Okay, come on. Hopefully, whoever we're trying to cast doesn't notice the dead bodies. Let's be quiet now. Should we wait here? That's it. Suspect in sight. Okay, now what do I? Do I get close or what? No, I can't get out. He's only a messenger. We should follow him. Yeah, let's go. Oh, I better hurry. Your Excellency, it is an honor. Well, gentlemen, what are you plotting? Fool, they followed us. I thought I was careful. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation, and you have been caught plotting treason. So I suggest you talk. What do these messages contain, and what are they about? You're wasting your time. I, I, I won't say a word. Hmm. You're trying to imitate me. Do you realize that you were suspected of espionage and conspiracy? Don't you think you'd better explain yourself? I suppose you know the fact ah. that you dare to spy. Some time ago, it was rumored that the secrets of the Norts were for sale. My country was interested. So I started exchanging messages as you've been doing. The Nort who was willing to give up these secrets demanded a fortune. He also wanted to become a citizen. But we were only at the negotiation stage. For the moment, uh, I have received nothing concrete. Just promises. Who is the Nort you're talking to? Oh, I've no idea. The messages were signed White Rose, but I doubt it's a real name. Very well. You seem to be telling the truth. Alba means white, decided, but it's a little unsubstantial. And give me the message in your possession before leaving. Very well. Here it is. Now, if you'll allow me, uh, I, I will leave the town. At least I managed to get the the message that I was supposed to go look for. Ah, your excellency. So, what did you discover? There is indeed a spy among the Norths. But the spy's identity remains to be proven. Take this. I recovered this note which seems to suggest that your secrets have been offered to several buyers. The Alliance citizen we met did not win the bid. I knew it. My logbook has just been stolen. And of course, Alba is missing. Do we really still need proof? This book must be found at all costs before Alba sells it. Your Excellency, can we count on you once more? I would like to help you. But this island is vast. How can I possibly hope to find it? Alba is from Teleme. She probably took refuge in San Mateus. This reduces the search area a little. What do you say, Your Excellency? This is a trail that deserves to be followed. I will keep you updated, Admiral. Okay, at least I managed to get the reputation up, and now the other side quest mission is open. So let's go to landing. Okay, I guess I need to go talk to the auto captain and tell him about the papers. Good day, Desade. How can I help you? We are looking for a young Nort named Alba, on behalf of the Admiral. I've heard about her. Several crew members told me that one of our own was looking to leave the island. You should ask them if you want to learn more. 
They should be near the boarding area. But me? I've not seen her. More questions? Hmm, nope. Thanks. I've got everything I need. See, maybe I could ask him. Your Excellency. Captain Vasco. What fair wind brings you here? We're looking for a young Nord who arrived from New Serene a short time ago. Her name is Alba. Yes, I remember her well. The poor child wanted to flee her father. He wanted to take her back to the convent. She asked me when our ship was leaving, and if I thought we could take her on board. I told her she'd better talk to the captain. But we weren't leaving right away in any case. So she left. Hmm. You say she was fleeing her father? Why? That's what she said. He followed her here to take her back to Teleme. Poor child. Did she tell you what his name was? Yes. She told me that if a certain gentleman, Lorenz, that's it, Lorenz, if he was asking after her, I should send him packing. Surely it was a fake excuse. We're looking for her for espionage and treason. Really? Yet she seems sincere. Treason? I can't believe it. If her father is actually here, do you have any idea where we might find him? Well, at one point I asked her why she was not waiting at the tavern for a ship to leave. She told me she could not go to the tavern. So maybe that's where you'll find him. Hmm. I must leave you. Hello. Are you Master Lorenz? Indeed, my lady. What do you want from me? My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation, and I have a few questions for you. We are looking for a young nought called Alba. We were told that you are her father. Alba, what a stupid name. Her real name is Clara, and yes, she is my daughter, although she chose to deny me. Have you seen her recently? Alas, no. Otherwise, I would have brought that little idiot back to Teleme. Why did she have to leave? What madness could make her leave the convent to go to sea? Your daughter is accused of espionage and treason by the Norts. Do you think she could be guilty? Espionage? I can't believe it. But treason? How can it be denied? She rejected her country, her faith, and her family by getting on that ship. But I will soon bring her back on the right path. I hired a sleuth from the Ordo Luminous. Tell me more about this sleuth. Some inquisitors are specialists in hunting criminals, or heretics, or young scatterbrains. Hmm? It's certainly the case with this Johannes. He will bring her back to me, and she will return to the convent in Teleme. Do you know where we could find him? Maybe he could help us. His last message was about a missionary camp where he had followed her near Wench... something or other. I'm sorry, I can't remember those island names. Thank you, sir. If you find her, bring her back to me. She will no longer have the chance to betray anyone at the convent. I hope we're done. I'll leave you, sir. Get down and listen. It seems to me that it's our sleuth. Okay, well, is he? I don't see him. Let me go. I've done nothing wrong. Speak if you want me to release you. Where is she? I... I don't know. I'm thirsty. Give me water. You will have nothing until you tell me something. Have mercy. I'm sorry. Just give him the water, dude. If you die, I will just question another one like you. Talk. Where is the girl. This is surely the sleuth. And luckily, he's not found Alba yet. He's questioning this man to find out where she is. That monster is going to kill him. We have to do something. Hey, who goes there? Who are you? And what are you doing here? Are you spying on me? My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the congregation, and I was sent to find a young nought, Alba. Bad, dirty little eel slipped through my fingers. But this savage will soon tell me where to find her.
Your brutality must stop. I order you to release this man and leave immediately. I don't care about your orders. And since you want to interfere in my hunt, you no uh oh will be ah! Oh no, move! Oh no. Yeah, and I got the tornado levitation down, but it's his fault. May the grass be forever soft under your feet, Renaixe. I thought I was dead. He would have killed me, even if I had spoken. You're probably right. Do you think you can answer us? We also have questions to ask you. You saved me. I owe you answers. But first, I have to go back to my village. I need to heal. Meet me in Wenshavaye later on. Ah, you are the ones who saved me from Saul Lasso. I am so grateful to you. I owe you so much. But you wanted to ask me questions? We're looking for a naught girl. The same one that the Inquisitor is looking for. But I promised Alba to say nothing. I would really like to help you. But... And you risked your own life keeping your promise. But Alba is in a very delicate situation. If we do not find her first, others will track her down. And they will kill her without letting her defend herself. So she was right to be afraid, that poor girl. She came here saying she was being chased. I led her into the forest nearby to a cave where she could hide. If you have one of your notes, I'll show you where she is. Thank you. Did you want anything else? I must go. Goodbye. Okay, we're going to that same cave that when I think last episode only when I was looking for the missing native couples and now this time I need to go look for poor girl. She must have been desperate to take refuge in there. I can't say that I have a good memory of this place. Yeah, because the last time I was here I found a dead couples. Hopefully Ida hasn't been killed in this cave. No, wrong way. Excuse me. Uh oh. Gonna go look for Ida. Where are you, Ida? Please say something. Look, camp. Maybe these are Albert's things. Albert's scenes? I don't see anything. Oh. There she is. No. You will not get me. I will not go back to the convent. Uh-oh. Wait, something's wrong. She sincerely believes that we're chasing her on behalf of her father. Hmm, uh, maybe I should spare her because if I kill her, I might make a bad decision. I do not intend to kill you, let alone take you back to your father. So then, why are you here? We know you betrayed the Norts who took you in. You stole documents from your captain to sell them to the highest bidder. And we're here to pick them up. What? I never did such a thing. The Norts are the family I chose. I would never betray them. There's no point in denying it. We found the dead drop that you used. We confirmed that you were negotiating to sell secrets. 
And Captain Reuben, who already suspected you, reported the theft of his book just as you were leaving town. If you were innocent, you wouldn't have fled your crew. But all of this is false. I don't even know what a dead drop is. And if I fled, it was to escape you. Escape us? If you were not the spy, that makes no sense. You'd better tell us what happened. Some time ago, Captain Reuben told me that he had been informed that my father had gone to Tierfridi. It worried me. I knew my father would do anything to bring me back. Then, in New Serene, my colleagues told me that the Legate was looking for me. I was scared. I told the captain, who told me that I would find a ship in San Mateus to leave the island. But there were none. I saw my father at the tavern with one of his inquisitors, and I realized that my only chance was to flee deeper inland. A native helped me find this cave, and there you have it. I can't believe it. Reuben used the mistrust of the volunteers to accuse her, and he used us to make her run away. Probably to hide the fact that he himself is the spy. We've been duped. We must return to New Serene as soon as possible and warn the Admiral before it's too late. And what will become of me? You will come with us. We will protect you. We'll need your testimony. Man, it's a good thing I didn't kill her because if I would have, I would have got the reputation down really bad. So let's go back to our animal. Desarde, what can I do for you? Yeah, speaking of spying. Our investigation is well underway, but the culprit is not who we thought. What do you mean? We found Alba, but she was innocent. In fact, her captain used us and her father to scare her. It's because of us that she fled. But she never stole documents or tried to sell your secrets. So, are you saying that the culprit is Reuben? Yep. If this were not the case, why make up this story against Alba and use us like that? I can't believe it. And to think that I believed his lies. However, he is a captain. I cannot condemn him without solid proof. And we have to find out who he was selling his journal to. Ask his crew, but stay discreet. It should not arouse suspicions. Anything else? Okay, I need a question to these same people again, but I need to make sure not to be suspicious. Your Excellency, I am so pleased to see you again. The pleasure is shared. Captain. Good day, Jonas. What can I do for you? Hmm. What do you think of your new captain? He knows how to make people obey him and runs a tight ship. What else is there to say? He's a captain. I'm only a cabin boy. Does he get on well with Alba? He was suspicious of her at first, but when he saw that she was trustworthy, he treated her like one of our own. But when she disappeared he told us that she didn't have what it takes to be a nun. he spoke of trees and that sort of thing but i imagine he regretted having trusted her at all anything else your excellency hmm nothing else I'm I need to be going. watch out for yourself okay now what do you have to say what can i do for you we have a few questions to ask you Flavie. i'm all yours captain what do you think about your new captain? He is fair, decisive, and he certainly knows the sea. But he keeps his distance, as if he wasn't a member of our species. And since we got here, it's been worse. He seems... <sighs> troubled. The slightest disagreement puts him over the edge. But <laughs> never mind me. It's not my place to judge my captain. He's got responsibilities I can't fathom. Anything else? I need to be off. Perhaps we'll meet later. Farewell, then. Okay, what about you? Hello. You need something? What do you think about Captain Reuben? I know what it's gonna sound like, but I liked it better when you were captain. Thank you. Heartfelt. But tell me why. He's a good captain, but he lacks team spirit, if you know what I mean. He's aloof. Doesn't get along with his crew. You're still far from the mark. To him, we're nothing more than lackeys. The only one who gets a smile from time to time is the pretty Gretchen. One of the girls from the tavern. She scratches his itch. 
As soon as he can, he's off to the brothel. Must cost him a right fortune. <laughs> he should be careful. A debt with a coin guard is like sailing near a storm. Hmm. Maybe I should go ask the girl he, he's talking about. If he's a loner, would make sense to need some company from time to time. And as captain, he must have the means. Yes, you are certainly right. Well, none of my business. Anything else? Oh, there she is. Hello, my darlings. What would you like, then? I was told that Captain Reuben liked you a lot, and that you spend a lot of time with him. He's one of my regulars, it's true. He always asks for me. But it's because I'm the sweetest. Does he confide in you? Sorry, my dear. The what's between my clients and me is nobody's business. Let's see. Maybe I could. How about a change of scenery and a chance to work in a more luxurious environment? Become a courtesan. But don't you need connections to get there? I'm the legate of the congregation and the governor's cousin. So? Oh, I'm not stupid enough to miss such a chance. What do you want to know? Yeah, tell me about... Did Reuben tell you about his relationship with his men and his superiors? Oh, yes. He's always complaining about it. He was hoping for a promotion. He wanted to be appointed fleet commander. But they only changed his ship. And the crew is nowhere near his level. And his admiral despises him. He says everyone is unfair towards him and doesn't recognize his talents. And it has turned him bitter. Have you noticed him change lately? Yes. He's become impatient and anxious. He's become suspicious too. Did he tell you about his plans? Like everyone else, he likes building castles in the air. He told me that he would soon be someone very important and very rich. And that he would marry me. <laughs> but they all say that. Thank you, Gretchen. I'm done. We can see everything from here. Okay, where is he? Okay. Gotta make sure he doesn't see me. Ooh, free stuff. Ah, not gonna get distracted. Make sure he doesn't notice me. Hey, move it. Uh oh. I'm not about to use the sight of him, I'm a little bit near. See, look, he's right there. I'm not that far. Okay, he's going this way. I think he's going to the drop, the death drop area. Oh, he's running.
Here he is, red-handed. A sellout. Shall we arrest him? Hmm, let me see. We should first find out what he puts in the box. Let him finish. The way is clear. Now, let's take a look at this box. The captain and his buyer should meet here at nightfall. This must be where the exchange will take place. We should put the message in the box, so no one will know we've seen it. And we should warn the Admiral immediately. She'd want to know. Let's go. Anwar, I have something to warn you about. To Saraday, what can I do for you? We know a little more. Reuben continues to use the dead drop and has made an appointment with his buyer. He has quite the nerve to continue using that box even though he knows you know about it. He must have thought that we would not come back. The meeting is tonight. This could be a good time to get the proof we need. What do you think? That's an excellent idea. I will come with you. I want to see this traitor fall with my own eyes. Okay, now I need to go back to the area meeting. From this position, we'll be able to see the meeting discreetly. Perfect. I can't wait to witness it. This traitor is going to find out exactly what it costs to make fun of us. I can't believe it. This eel is selling us to the coin. The wretched traitor. How dare he sell us to lawless mercenaries. Uh oh, better go help them. Ah! Uh oh. This traitor got what he deserved. Is everything all right, Admiral? It's nothing. Sorry to have charged like that. I got carried away. I couldn't bear to see this traitor sell his whole family for a few coins. Do you want us to tend to your wound? No, I'll go back to port and get back on my feet. Find the documents. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, the three of you. In addition to a substantial sum, Reuben is also going to obtain a major post on the continent. He was ready to sell more than just his own knowledge. There are plans for machines and ships that he must have stolen from elsewhere. Everything is here. We'll give it to the Admiral tomorrow. De Sarde, what can I do for you? How are your wounds? I recovered fast. It was nothing. Did you find the documents he intended to sell? Yes, here they are. But there was more than just his journey. So, he lusted after a prestigious position. And what a salary! I see that our secrets are still worth a fortune. Thank you for bringing me all this. As for you, Alba, I owe you an apology. I should have trusted you. You have nothing to do with it. The captain did everything to make me appear guilty. No. If we put the same trust in the volunteers as in the Seaborns, this would never have happened. We owe you a lot, Desarde. I will not forget it. Nor will I forget the lesson. Be sure of it. You have my full gratitude. Anything else? Ready to excite the crowd. Okay, now I'm gonna go do the fourth round, so... Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. You've grown to love their faces. You know their tactics. <laughs> Ready to ex 
inside the crowd. Oh. I need to get going. Huh. A pity. Yeah, I was supposed to jump in. I forgot. <laughs> Ah. ah, come on. Okay, now I need a jump. Let's go. Ah! Oh no! Excellent, and the public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. Okay, now I'm gonna go complete the Fed challenge, and hopefully this might be easy. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. Incredible! Who would ever have believed that our excellence would have risen so high, so quickly? And now, ladies and lords, here they are. Ah! Get away, get away, get away, get away! Oh no. I survive? Oh, but I need about those guys. They don't have that much protection, but I still need to be careful with the weapons.
Uh oh. I think my last opponent is that giant thing. Let me see. How many do I have? How many bullets do I have? Okay, I got enough bullets. No, no. Ugh. Yes, I won. Fantastic. You are now a champion of the arena. I must say that this is the first time I've ever seen such a young team leader win the title. Allow me to give you this the prize awarded to champions. Thank you. I want a lot of gold nice okay now that I got the seal I could go in and go meet the leader of the council you have returned. the rule is still the same you know here is the seal of Donegad Katasak of the village of Wen Xavier. and so you are a trusted friend of the great healer he must see your true face and find it worthy. Enter. You are welcome. I give you warm greetings, Glenda. I am de Sarde, legate of the Congregation of Merchants. Your merchant congregation sways me very slightly from my part. But you are a current of Katasach. His trust in you makes me stop and look at you. What brings you here? I seek a remedy. My cousin and many other people on our island suffer from a terrible sickness. We think that an unnamed Brichtemann can help us find a cure. Really? And Katasach sent you to see me? He told me that the only way to meet with your god was to come and see you. You would judge our worthiness. Judge your intentions? Yes, that I can do. But even if I should do this, you would have many trials to pass. For the path you seek to follow has only been tread but a very few times. And you are the first Renaixe to set foot upon it. We must begin where everything begins. There is a trial. The trial of water. It will show us the reflection of your soul. What must I do? You must go to a cavern and tell me what you see on the seal you will find deep in its center. And I suppose this cavern is guarded? That is true. But the simplest solution is not always the best. It is a path with many forks. I hope you will prove that you understand the spirit of our people and our island. Go now. Show us your true face, 
and return purified by the waters of the cavern. Hmm, okay. I must leave. Goodbye. Qua Awelem said. Karantz, I need to talk to you. I have to ask you for another favor. I'm listening, Siora. Do you remember the mind shakers in my village? Yes. If I understand correctly, there was some kind of an agreement made with them. Even though these priests would make good allies against the lions because they hate them as much as we do, my mother would never have traded the spirits of the people of the village in exchange for their help. And she would have wanted to be buried according to our rituals. She was deeply attached to our traditions. So you think that they're lying? Yes. And you understand these Renaigse better than I do. Will you investigate this matter with me? Hmm, I guess. Of course. Let's go. Okay, there you are. Now I think you go talk to them and ask them some few questions. Hello, my child. What a pleasure to see someone come to us with such eagerness. Do you want to hear the word of Saint Matthias and come into the light? Not really, Father. My name is de Sardé. I'm the Legate of the Congregation. Nice to meet you, Your Excellency. What can we do for you? We would like to know more about the agreement you supposedly sealed with Bladnid. I do not see how our agreement concerns the Congregation. But since you are asking us, we swore to provide this village with all our support in their fight against the Alliance. In exchange, its inhabitants will have to renounce their pagan cult and turn towards the light. My mother would never have made such an agreement. She's the one who encouraged me to become a Donegad. The queen had understood that the light was the only true path, even if she was attached to traditions. It is for this reason that we have accepted to seal our agreement according to your own rituals. She had an engraver come to Valristo. He carved your strange symbols in the stone. I do not believe a single word of this. You, the people of the light, are nothing but liars. You would do well to hold your tongue, young lady. This village is now under our spiritual authority. By not respecting us, you are committing blasphemy. And blasphemy is a crime that we punish severely. Because you think that you can administer justice here. I am the daughter of Bladnid, and you are... Siora, let's not get into another battle and make new enemies. Let's go find this stone. That is an excellent idea. Then you will see that we are telling the truth. Okay, I guess we need to go find the stone then. Okay, before I continue on, I'm going to go stop and take a break. So, until next time, this is Anime Game Otaku 95. Bye!